All right, friends, it's T-Man, and I'm back, Broski, with a new video on, guess who, Jason Blaha, the strength and fitness gym lifting diet slave, bro, yeah, man, the fitness slave of the industry. <laughs> so, Jason Blaha says this morning, he says, polyunsaturated fats are the only essential fats for humans. They're the only ones for humans? Well, when you eat meat or you know, particular fats from animal fats, they're saturated, they're monounsaturated, polyunsaturated, other subtypes of, other subtypes of uh, fats. There's other subtypes, but okay. Anyways, yeah, um, I, I don't know any fat that, in animal fat that's unhealthy for you, or even uh, seafood. Seafood, like fish, is unhealthy for you. It's all healthy for you. The problem with supplements, they never work because... People try to try to supplement with these things like, oh, we're gonna get a lot of omega three, you know, these uh, these fatty acids and stuff. Yeah, uh, she, it's not really uh, the supplements don't. There's not enough in there. You need food, man. You need you need real food. <laughs> but okay, let's review this video. I haven't really watched it yet. Polyunsaturated fats are the only fats that are required in our diet. Hey, everybody. Okay, I disagree with that. That is not the only fat that you need in your diet. There's other substrates of fats that you need, which are in those foods that you eat natural, in natural foods, not artificial foods like these engineered foods by man, oils and weird things that they're doing out there. Everybody, it's Jason Bly here, and I thought I would chat with you guys about this a little bit. So this is a topic that comes up. You know, you always hear people who say things like, well, you know, there's no essential this or that in the diet, although uh, experts... I don't know about essential. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I've gone back to eating the, is, as much as, as a natural diet as I can in this crazy world that we live in. So it's a lot of seafood. And it's a lot of animal meat, mostly beef. I try to stick to beef. Um, not really particular into too much chicken and pork. You know, that stuff is like, it's putrid, putrid animals, man. Shitty, shitty birds. I hate birds, man. They're shitty for you. Really, they tell you you're not, you're not supposed to be eating birds. You're supposed to be eating wild animals, but okay. It's as wild as you're going to get as a cow. But like I said, you're sharing DNA with these things, so be careful. I eat a lot of shellfish is really good for you. Shellfish, oh yeah, and fish is really good. Seafood is really amazing. Like I said, when I lived in Mexico, I could eat marlin. I like marlin. Marlin is expensive, expensive fish. I couldn't eat that up here where I live right now, up north. I can't eat that in North America. But if I live in Mexico, anywhere on, you know, on the ocean, there's people there, they, you know, they sell you snapper, they sell you a whole bunch of stuff, oysters, they, on the beach, uh, shrimps, oysters, um, you know, scallops, they sell you uh, marlin, they have a lot of marlin, they catch marlin, they get, they serve a lot of marlin, which I, which I like, because, again, I can't get that up here, and if I could, it would probably be astronomically expensive, so yeah. There is, t I could get like, you know, frozen stuff like tuna steaks and things. Those are okay. They're not so expensive up here. I think they had a special this week, two tuna steaks for like $5.99. So that's $3 a piece. That's not bad, actually. I'll tell you the truth. Really, that's not bad for a piece of tuna. Yeah. Or tuna steak. Are saying that there are essential carbohydrates now. Um, and people can be in, in denial of that. But uh, fiber is actually something that a lot of researchers are saying needs to be included as an essential nutrient no you don't need fiber what this fiber stuff you don't need it you can't digest it it your body doesn't do anything with it it's actually it's fucking anti everything forget that shit it's garbage it's, it's bullshit it's all bullshit and in other words you will have carnivores don't need any fiber in their diet give fiber to a carnivore dog and see what happens he's gonna have the same problems actually die without it uh, and it is required. No, you're not going to die if you don't eat fiber. I haven't been eating fiber since last year, summer, and I haven't died yet. If anything, I'm getting stronger and better all the time. I'm actually looking better. Friends are telling me, you're looking younger. You're, the lines in my face are going away. My face is getting tighter. Just everything is just fucking getting much better, looking better because of the essential... These essential fatty acids, they help with your skin and 
you know the the thing with with uh he's so unnatural he eats such a natural food uh coach blaha if he were to start eating seafood a lot of seafood definitely and beef and beef fat i guarantee you that that droopy skin that he has and the way he looks and everything would definitely definitely improve him but if he keeps eating on a natural diet like tofu spaghetti hot dogs and all these chemicals and coffee all day what did you expect how do you expect your body to change and look better he thinks it's all about exercise think about this oh exercise is healthy okay what's healthy about exercise do you think you're going to exercise yourself to good health if you're eating toxic food all day impossible impossible that's what i mean about coach blaha he's a bad coach for health uh, so setting that aside though you know people usually know look there's only essential proteins uh, which there are there's essential amino acids anybody that wants to truly impress you they would go all out but you know he, he doesn't want to go all out see right now i'm going all out because i'm sticking to a high fat beef diet and and fish and see and sorry and seafood right so because because i want to get better <laughs> it's more impressive it's much more impressive when you're looking better when people see you doing specific things and you're getting better it's it's impressive to them they're like wow maybe i maybe i could do that you know i could look better like that too if i if i go on a pure you know uh, animal animal diet and seafood diet the combination of both right it's like the, listen they'll say that people who eat seafood are the longest lived people even longer than people that eat meat right okay let's just say that so what's the problem with combining both of them seafood with the meat diet see what i mean you get you get two in one super pack so you're gonna definitely look better on animal products because you share the dna with them you share dna but if you eat plants it'll corrupt your dna and so you'll look aged you'll look old you'll get inflamed and stuff these oils inflame you and there are essential fats the problem is that you know when it comes over to that topic it's like people say that it's like hey great it's a great piece of knowledge but how do you apply it and then the same people who are trying to apply that are just having you eat a high fat diet of just any type of fat or they specifically avoid and are scared of polyunsaturated fat so it really seems rather rather strange um, but what do we mean by essential just like there's lots of vitamins and minerals that are essential uh, essential means it is something that has to be consumed okay your body cannot make it out of anything else or it can't store it either can't make it or can't store it essential <clears throat> i'd say that water soluble vitamins are essential because they come in and they go out these fat soluble vitamins well if you get they say if you get too much of them i don't know if they're stored too much they may get toxic i really doubt that but whatever but yeah the water soluble ones they come and go so what happens when you heat up your food when you heat it up well there's a lot of water soluble vitamins in there exposed to heat water soluble vitamins they reduce or they just you kill them by frying them or uh, cooking them and there are you know again omega-3 and omega-6 fats in that category and there are eight uh, essential amino acids out of the 20 although i think some experts do believe there are nine essential uh, so there's then there's some that are conditionally essential so again a little bit of nuance there but those are the things that you cannot you cannot make on your own um, but when it comes to uh, the are these upright rows? fatty acids I'm are these upright rows he's doing most people would bring it up to their chin not that you need to but whatever i just love how he throws the weights up and down he just like he throws them you know it's just like throw it up throw it up the thing that people need to remember the topic of yeah you have to understand it's one thing to throw the weight up in the air remember muscle damage is not associated with with concentric exercise it's the eccentric so even if you are going to throw it up in the air really fast lower the weight with control and you'll get the eccentric movement but blaha just wants to drop it <laughs> throw it around epa and dha 
<laughs> That's why I say he's a lazy lifter. Maybe he thinks that he's getting something out of it on the concentric. That's how. That's how, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's how good of a coach he is. He thinks that's where all the action is at the top. There's nothing going on at the top. Sometimes come up with omega three, but keep in mind your body can't actually make those from other. Think about it. A box jump. If you jump from the bottom up to the top of the the box, what what exactly are you getting there? Not a lot. Now think about jumping off the box onto the ground against you're, you're dropping with gravity you're moving with gravity what do you think you're gonna get when you jump from the box down to the ground remember there's an impact on your bones uh there's also the eccentric movement because there'll be a centric movement there so like what exactly what exactly are you getting more benefits jumping down from the box or jumping up something you think about ponder that uh -huh polyunsaturated fat so like um, ALA which is alpha linoleic acid uh, your body can actually convert that into EPA and DHA now people will argue can it convert it I don't know that's what they say I'm not really sure <laughs> what about omega-3 they'll argue about well the rates are very low that's true the rates are very low but that's okay because we don't need much of it. You know, so that's where people make... I like him. The, the rates are very low. We don't need much, much of them. But what if you're eating your natural diet? You're never going to be without them. Here, see, here's the thing. If you eat an animal and seafood diet, you're never going to be insufficient in them. So what does it matter? What does it matter? See, he's so artificial... He thinks that artificial food is normal. You should be eating these artificial tofu and spaghetti diets and whatever. Meanwhile, he doesn't realize it's corrupting his DNA. It, it could become epigenetic over time. This is epigenetic for sure. I would say that this is, this is uh, epigenetic over time. This is what's happening to coach, your coach Blaha. It's becoming epigenetic. That's why he looks so terrible. Like an old dude here. 80 year old guy here oh my god because we don't need much of it you know so that's where people make the argument of needing fatty fish or um, you know uh, fish oil supplements and things like that and i don't think there's anything wrong with eating fatty fish uh, by, by any means uh, all available data suggested what he <laughs> i don't think there's anything wrong with eating fatty fish you mean just yeah eating fish I don't think there's anything wrong with eating your natural diet fish. What the hell is fucking Coach Blaha talking about? He's crazy. Oh, I know. Because tofu is better and, and fucking these uh, fucking amazing engineered food by man are much better. Sure. Okay. Very healthy. Has health benefits. But health benefits? Uh, as far has, as actual... Has health benefits? Let me get this straight. Your natural diet, well, it has health benefits. Uh, yeah, it's medicinal it's natural food is medicine otherwise if you don't eat your natural food as medicine you'll the these doctors and your and these people at the pharmacy will be feeding you medicine <laughs> you'll be eating med their medicine as food you understand me or health as far as needing those that's not necessarily true um you're not really seeing deficiency in those in people who get sufficient uh other omega-3 fats that they can convert into them now where the caveat there is of course heart patients certain cardiac patients and this is why the whole argument of fish oil supplementation comes up is that you know it's been pointed out that on average the supplementation doesn't help you but when these specific ones are supplemented in very large amounts, it does seem to lower triglycerides in certain cardiac patients. And I think that the take home here that some of the cardiologists point out with that is that it is very large amounts. In other words, if you're buying regular strength fish oil capsules off the shelf and you're taking three of those a day, it's not going to do anything in terms of, of the reduced triglycerides and things for specific types of cardiac patients. It's like you have to have a minimum of two grams of EPA and DHA a day. Uh, so for a lot of those fish oils, you're talking like 10 plus of those sometimes. And that's a lot. But again, that's why uh, cardiologists will prescribe certain higher strength uh, ones of these, you know, for their patients who need that. So again, I would point out, you don't necessarily... You know, for their patients who need that. 
So again, I would point out, you don't necessarily have to have that as, as the layman. All right, uh, but over- You should have that. The most, the thing that people die the most of is cardio, cardiac arrest or heart attacks or whatever. They have heart problems. I'll tell you, your, your animal fat and, um, and uh, seafood will protect your heart. It'll protect your heart. It's like a shield. It'll protect your heart and make it super strong and resilient from any, uh, like you getting a heart attack or any, any, the, any of these conditions, cardiovascular disease. Let's just put it this way. It'll protect you from cardiovascular disease. The reason why you want to eat a high fat animal diet and a high fatty, whatever fatty fish like coach goofball here says is because it'll protect you from cardiovascular disease. That is the whole point. And he's like, well, you should be eating so much. Okay, what if I'm eating it every day? That's my diet. I'm always getting something that's essential. There's nothing there that's not, I'm not going to get that's not essential. What does it really matter? That is your natural food. You'll be eating it. But they try to make it so complicated, like Coach Goof, Goofball. To the point with the other essential fatty acids, uh, there are other health benefits to things like the, the ALA. So that's what people forget. They're like, well, the only ones we need are the EPA, and DHA. But that's not true because you can technically make those. Technically, the ALA. Yeah, but you're going to get all these things eating your natural diet. So I don't know what he's talking about. Makes no sense. For the omega He makes it sound like you're deficient in something. Oh, but you need these. You need these. Yeah, okay. Whether I need them or not, who gives a shit? I'm eating that diet already. So I'm getting them all the time. And then the LA, the linoleic acid are the essential ones. These are the ones our body cannot make. We can, to a certain extent, as necessary. If you eat a natural diet, you're get, if you eat your, your natural diet, human diet, you're going to get them all the time. But if you don't, then you've got trouble. You can make the others out of those. Those are technically the essential ones. Now, keep in mind, a lot of people are afraid of those. That's the, well, oftentimes the ones that you'll see certain people who follow certain uh, dogmatic or, or diet zealots are then afraid of the ones that are actually essential. When the truth is, there, there are plenty of health benefits. I could tell you this much. Eating plants and these fruits and plants and engineered foods, they, I don't know. I, maybe the, un, the ugh, Fruits and vegetables, they don't, they don't uh, corrupt the, or eventually over time. It doesn't become epigenetic. That's what I heard. So you can restore yourself on your natural diet. I don't know, though, about these engineered foods. I'm not really sure if that could become something epigenetic uh, over time. Possibly. I don't know. I can't tell you, man. But I do know that a lot of the stuff you've been doing to yourself is reversible. If you go back on your natural diet, it will reverse within time, very quickly, within a year. And then after that, it will get better and better all the time. We have pretty good data from metabolic ward uh, populations. That Let's just put it this way. If you want to look better than your coach Blaha here, if you want to look amazing, amazing, I mean, look amazing, even as a young person, Eat a lot of seafood, invest your money in seafood and beef products, high fat beef products. And you're going to look and feel and be super fucking looking amazing, sexy and strong, bro. And every woman's going to go gaga over you. But if you eat plants and all this slave food, then that's what you're going to get. That's what you're going to attract. You're going to look like shit and you're going to perform like shit, too. It's another issue. Is everything at this point that higher intakes of those two types of fats are actually associated with a lot of healthy benefits. They're associated with better fat burning, uh, better body composition, better insulin sensitivity, better lipid profiles. Okay. Yeah, they are, but Coach isn't doing that because he's eating seed oils and tofu and uh, I don't know, what is this, soya? Soya milk and fucking, I don't know, mustard for his hot dogs and... Uh, and, and, and whatever, a bunch of other stuff, weird um, sauces for his uh, spaghetti. So, so again, these are your healthy fats, okay? Uh, now, how much of them you actually need is subject to a lot of debate. You know, a lot of the data would suggest, you know, 20... No amount of exercise is going to do anything or transform your body 
eating an unnatural diet like Coach Blaha, ever. Grams total a day is enough to optimize health. Can there be benefits to higher amounts of these? Possibly, yeah. Do we have to necessarily get even that 20 grams to be healthy? Again, subject to debate. But the point is, these are the healthy fats. These are your essential fats. Everything else that you consume is, is kind of conditional, uh, meaning there can be benefits to other fats and lipids in our diet, but your body can make those out of other things. Most of our other fats, we can kind of make them from other stuff, right? All your other monounsaturated, saturated fat types, keep in mind there's a, a dozen or more subtypes of each of those the human body is capable of making. Okay, we can make them out of other fats. Now people say, can you make them out of carbs and things? Uh, yes, but that's more difficult. And people forget that, that carbohydrates do not convert to fats very efficiently in humans. Um, so a point of contention, people are unaware. You shouldn't be eating any carbohydrates. With that. So even though I'm the first to say, hey, you know, ultra high carbohydrate diets are great. I think that's what most of us should be doing. Um, ultra high carbohydrate diets are great for you. Man, this guy's really crazy. They're not good for you. They're not good for you. Your your ability to actually get lipids from them is, is limited. You don't need them. You don't need carbohydrates. I never get tired. I'm not exhausted or anything. Being on a carnivore and a seafood diet, I have plenty of energy, feel super strong, feel better than I've ever felt in my entire life. I've always, I never even realized how bad I felt on carbohydrates, especially eating cereals and grains and shit and all that and bread and foo, all this foo foo food, this garbage food. I, uh, I feel, I feel like out of this world, I feel amazing, man. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, I feel like a normal, a, nor, a normal human being. I can't, to, to, to describe it, it's like, you just feel normal. You just feel really good. To some extent, um, so just just be aware of that fact. Uh, we don't do it as. It took me a while to figure it out myself too. I know I, I was I'm not a nutrition specialist. I don't know any of these things, but I finally discovered what the diet what diet we truly should be eating. Our natural diet. That's the that's the key word. Natural diet. Yes. As well as we might we might nothing engineered by man or processed or ultra processed or any of these things natural diet like you'd get out in the wild ideally like in some cases but the only uh, fats that are essential are the polyunsaturated fats when people start talking to you about well you know fats are essential in your diet that's true again what does it matter essential or not if you're eating your natural diet it's already there but i guess he's referring to people eating unnatural diets yes okay but you need to be specific you know not all fats are equal and usually good plant sources of stuff are the best sources of those things you need to be specific i, I mentioned you know a, a variety of nuts and seeds walnuts are phenomenal right walnuts are phenomenal but some of them can be obtained a bit from from animal products too i'm not going to exclude that even though i tend to, to be very plant-based in my approach yeah you can definitely get some of those from from certain animal sources you've got to research it a bit but it can be done too okay and i'm not suggesting that people get refined sources of these you know so i'll be again the first to say that seed oils and and things i think they've been over over negatively pushed by many okay whatever people when the data just doesn't support it it really doesn't but by that same token i would i would still much rather see people get these things from uh, you know undamaged whole foods right not highly refined sources what would, would undamaged whole foods are you do you mean are you referring to natural food blah yeah okay really be optimal right all right guys but that's really all i have to thank good for being optimal he's so unnatural this dude I'll see you in the next one. Tell us what you think about that. Like, subscribe, support the channel. See you in the next one. Yes, it helps with the algorithm. Yeah, man. And if you like the video, like it and subscribe. Ciao, my friends.